Hi, this is Andrew, uh, working on my homework. Uh, today I have a statistics problem and uh, basically the central tendency and we have to solve for the median in a frequency distribution. So here's the problem. I have uh, 10 scores in the distribution. Uh, and again, I use a tool for statistics problems that I found online. It's called cram101.com. It, it typically it's a lot easier than dealing with spreadsheets. So we'll go to uh, cram101. And this is the menu for the statistics labs. And we have distribution, central tendency mode, and here's the median. So clicking on the median. The first thing it's going to ask us is to uh, enter in the number of data points. Now, in our homework assignment, we have 10. So I'm going to select 10. And then we can choose random data, fixed data. Fixed data is a, a prearranged example that CRAM provides so that we can uh, learn how to do these things. But we're just going to go in and enter our homework. Uh, and the value of the first one will be 1. And then 3, 68, 31, 1, 28, 93, 61, 40, and 16. OK, we have our data entered into the table. Uh, the next step we'd want to do um, and then this is, is only really important, uh, basically, if we really want to plot the data, because we could do this without ordering it, but it's a lot easier if you do order it numerically. So we'll click numerical order. Uh, so we have now our table sorted, smallest to largest. The next thing we'd want to do is, is cho choose the number of intervals which, or classes, uh, whatever you prefer. The number of intervals is, a, is an arbitrary decision. What you really want to do is try to bring this distribution down to a, a more meaningful, smaller group of numbers so that we can kind of understand the characteristics of the distribution. I'm going to select five. Uh, and again, it's arbitrary. You can select whatever you like. The upper limit of the distribution is 93. The lower limit for our homework is one. There you are. And the range of the distribution is 92, which is basically taking the lower limit from the upper limit, and we get 92. And to get the interval size, we take 92, divide that by 5, and round it up. So the width of our intervals will be 19. So here we have our intervals or classes. Uh, each of them have been uh, at the interval size. Each of them have been subtracted 0.5 from them so that we can basically make sure that the values only fit into one of the intervals and not the other. Uh, and the next step would then be to calculate the frequencies. So we'll click frequency or what they were doing here is saying, okay, so for the first interval from 0.5 to 19.5, how many scores do we have that fit in there? And this is where it's really nice if you've sorted the data uh, in order because you can just go right down the list until you find that uh, one doesn't fit. So these first four all fit into the first interval. So the frequency of the first interval will be four. The next step then would be to calculate the cumulative frequency, which is basically taking for each interval, the values of that interval, frequency of that interval, plus the frequency of the intervals below it. So in the first case, you only have four. There's nothing below it. In the second interval, you now have a cumulative frequency of six. We have two in the particular uh, second level, and then four below that. So the sum is six. And you proceed until you have counted for all of the scores. The next step then would be to calculate the median. The median is the point at which 50% of the data fall at or below in the distribution. So the median in this case is 29. And we the value of 29 is determined by taking the midpoint of this interval. So 19.5 to 38.5, the midpoint of here is 29. So we describe the median in this distribution as 29. Let's, let's take a look at that graphically, which is the easiest way to picture the median. So the median being 29, uh, again, it's in our second level. So here's where the median is. So basically, half of the data fall at this interval or below it. That's the median. Thank you.